Hi, I'm Amber. Hi, I'm AJ. And welcome, welcome to, to Mountain, Mountain Traditions, Traditions Homestead. Welcome to the kitchen here at the homestead. Today we wanted to make a video and show you guys how to home make butter. Um, a lot of people, of course, who have farms or small homesteads, they will make their butter from, if they have a milk cow, uh, from that or from their goat's milk. Uh, today we're just going to show you how to do it from store-bought uh, heavy whipping cream. This is what it looks like. You can find it where the coffee creamer and all that is beside of the milk. Um, this is a 16 ounce container and it will end up making two small sticks of butter. And we are going to be using a kitchen aid to do this. Let me get you guys situated and we'll get started. Okay. Rinse this out. Give it a little shake. I'm gonna pour the whole container in there. And now I need to grab an attachment for the KitchenAid. You want to make sure you're using this attachment. cream in the bowl, in the mixer, get it started. When I first start out, start on about speed four because it does take probably 15 to 20 minutes for this part of the process. So you start out a little bit higher, but as it gets to the end of the process, you're going to start having uh, curds forming. And that's going to cause some splashing, so you're going to want to turn it down, so keep a close eye on it. Okay, we're about 10 minutes into the process, and this is what we're working with. See how it's clumping up on the whisk? That's what we want. That means it's turning into butter. I'm going to take this off and scrape the edges. As you can see, there's a milky substance down in there, and that's what we're doing. We're separating that from the butter. I'm going to scrape the sides and let it go just a little longer. Okay, we are at approximately 15 minutes. As you can see, mainly what I have left in my bowl is milk and most of the butter is stuck to my whisk so now we're going to want to strain this even when you get to this point you wouldn't just want to uh, put this in a container and put it in your fridge because you want to get as much milk out of it as possible it'll last longer that way so what we're going to do you can use cheesecloth if you have cheesecloth uh, we just use tea towels they work just as well and of course they're reusable you just wash them can use them again so that's what we use put it over a bowl I'm gonna pour my excess right into there and see I've got some chunks of butter sticking to the sides I've got that in there now I'm gonna use a little wooden spoon to get all that butter out of the whisk as much as we can a little more out of the bowl there all right and 
now what we're gonna do is just strain it out by squeezing it. Just gather your tea towel, cheesecloth, whatever you have. I like to grab it, twist it. You can see all of the milk coming out there. You wanna get out, like I said, as much as you possibly can. It'll make your butter last longer and taste better. Now today I'm just gonna make plain butter. I'm going to put a little salt with it, but you can also add a couple tablespoons of honey, make honey butter, add some herbs, whatever you like. Okay, I now I've unwrapped it and this is what we're left with. Big glob of butter. I'll squeeze it just a little more. I think that's about all that we're getting out of that. And here is a little side tip. I'm going to keep the milk that is strained off of the butter for buttermilk to cook with. Now to cook with this, you will have to add about a tablespoon to two tablespoons of vinegar. Then you'll be able to cook with it. So I'm just going to put a lid on this and stick it in the fridge. Alright. Now got this little ball. I'm just going to sprinkle some salt on it. You don't have to do this part. You can leave it unsalted if you like. And then I just work that in with my hands. Squeezing as I go. Because you still might get a little bit of milk out of there. Now, if I were giving this to somebody, I would just saran wrap it up. But this is for our personal use this time. So, we have this little butter keeper. Let me grab it. This is a little butter crock. You can buy these on Amazon. This particular one we got, uh, if you're in Virginia, if you know where Floyd is, they have a hardware store over there that has all kinds of neat um, tools and equipment. They've got a kitchen section. That's where we purchased this, but you can also get them online. So all you do is make a little ball from your butter, put it down in this part of the crock, then you will fill this part with water, cool water, turn this over on top, and you can actually leave this out on your countertop. You do not have to refrigerate it. The cool water and the crock will uh, keep it at a low enough temperature that it will not spoil. Of course, it will last longer in the refrigerator, so that's something to consider, but we like this because we go through it fast enough to use it. So, this is probably one of the skills that we could hit on in a top five video if you guys wanted to. I know AJ had talked about um, possibly doing uh, top five skills that um, our grandparents practice that uh, not very many people practice today and it would be very important especially in the times that we live in. Uh, one of the reasons I wanted to make this video was actually because I saw on Facebook one day recently someone complaining because they could not find butter at the store and who would have thought we would live in a day where you couldn't just go to Walmart or Food Line or wherever and buy a tub of butter. But I noticed when I was at the store the other day they were very low on butter but they had tons of whipping cream. So, even if you don't live on a farm, there's still ways that you can make do. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you have any questions, just comment and leave it below. Be sure to like and subscribe. Thank you guys.